Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this python commonly asked coding interview question series today let's discuss about how to pair consecutive elements in a list right so given a list something like this list 1 equal to 3 2 5 8 1 7 all you need to do is pair it with the nearest element so in this example we will pair 3 and 2 2 and 5 5 and 8 8 1 and 1 7 respectively Basically, the output should be in this particular format. Alright, so there are many ways in which you can solve this problem. But here in this video, let's discuss about two more two approaches, which are very Pythonic way of solving this problem. So first one is using list comprehension. Alright, second one is using a zip method. Zip method is an inbuilt method which can be used to okay now let's look into these two approaches in detail and see how we can solve this particular problem all right so as usual def let's call it as pair consecutive all right now we will create a list comprehension okay let's call our list comprehension as pair Okay, if you are someone new to list comprehension, I would suggest you to watch my previous video on list comprehension where I um, and I have given a clear explanation about when and how to use list comprehension and I also provided detailed view of about, about the syntax and other details about list comprehension too. Okay, so I would put that link in the description box. I would suggest you to go through that in case if you did not understand how to use list comprehension all right so first thing is i need to write an expression right so in order to write an expression i need to understand what i need to do all i need to do is pair it with the nearest element right so if i am use if i am using a for loop to iterate through each and every element in this list so obviously i need to have an expression about what i need to do is do right so i have to pair with my nearest element so 3 and 2 right so first my value will be list 1 of i comma list 1 of i plus 1 right now i hope you understood so for in my first iteration it will take 3 and 2 in my next iteration it will take 2 and 5 5 8 and it will continue to the end of the loop and it will end the loop right so this is my expression next i need to continue with my list comparison syntax so probably i have to provide a range right so for i in range mm, so this is the my range would be the length of the list right so it will be length of list to one comma list one minus one up to the last value right right what am i why is it why is it highlighting in red what am i missing ah it should there should be a square bracket all right so now i have completed a completed creating a list comprehension okay or uh, now all i need to do is just print it print pair Now let's call our method and let me run this yeah you can see the output in the console so what it did is it paired with the nearest element like however we expected all right so this is another this is one of the interesting approaches in which you can use list comprehension to pair the consecutive element in a list okay so this is our first approach next we will use zip method to pair the consecutive element in a list all right so let's have the same example uh, let's have something called pair equal to zip so in zip method all right first we have to provide something called list to one and list one of 
one column so this is a slicing operator this is an inter interesting operator present in python so what it will do is from the first it will loop up to the end of the list it will go up to the end of the list so that's how you use this okay so now we have used the zip method to provide to actually pair it with the conjugative element right so now all i'm doing is just print pair right now if i run this okay it's just returning a zip object i have to mention if i need it as a list or a tuple so now i'm mentioning it as a list yeah now you can see it has inserted a square bracket at the beginning to indicate it is a list right in case if i need it as a tuple it will be i can mention as tuple here so now we have braces normal parenthesis at beginning and the last okay so this is another interesting way in which you can use zip method to pair consecutive element in a list okay so this is a very uh, effective one too so and more these two approaches are more pythonic way of solving the problem so if you have provided this solution to an interviewer i think he or she will be very happy all right so all right guys that's all what i want to cover as part of this video in case if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you